Okay, so I'm going to share my screen, and this is going to be a quick and dirty um, training, so ignore the kid in the background and the jumping up and down. And all of that, I just wanted to get this information to you. Um, so let's see. Okay, so when you do an order, you want to place a customer order. And when you put the name in, it's going to tell you, um, sorry, I'm on the computer internet and it's going really slow. You want to first select add new and it's going to walk you through the screen to add a new customer and you have to put their information in in order to add them to your screen. So this is what it looks like. Email address, confirm it, create their password. And what I usually do is use Boise one. I keep, I give everybody the same password when I'm setting up a new customer. That way, if they forget, I can go in and place an order from them. If they're good at managing their own account, they'll change it on their own. Um, first name, last name, and here's where you put the date of birth and then uh, select submit. Then you go back to your back office and then you go in and find that name. You select them and then up will come their card and it'll ask you, do you wish to place an order as that customer? Say yes. And then basically you're in their customer account. So from here, it'll tell you, it says I'm logged in as me, but I put my name on my husband's account. Um, it's right here. You are logged in as Matthew Melhuish. Um, so what you want to do is then the first thing you need to do is go to wine club and add their wine club. So you're going to add whether they want red, all white or red and white. You just want to add to cart. And what this does is continue shopping. What this does is it allows the system to factor in their 20% discount. So then you just order their wine. So like, I'm just gonna throw some wine in there so you'll see. Um, so then if it's sparkling or white or you know it's JCB, you just go under there and find the wine that you're looking for, right? So if you just do a quick view, it comes up like this. And then you can just select the number of bottles and then add to cart. and then continue shopping, add the next bottles for that customer, and then when you're finished, um, you just go to your cart, check out, and I'm gonna show you then what you need to do. So this is the wine club shipment. As you see, the price is zero. This is the shipment that they add because some customers automatically want the previous shipment, if your customer does not want it, you just simply select remove. And it'll take that shipment off. And as long as your customer has three bottles in the account, they can join the wine club at zero price. So that's the most important thing to know because that's what reflects the discounted price of the bottle. And then once you add 12 bottles, you'll see the 10, the 30% off price reflected here. So from that point on, you just go to check out. No! And then enter in, no! you know, billing information, shipping information, no! and go on as required. You know what, I'll just do next so we can walk you through where you put in the credit card info. Oh. And then shipping, uh, the ground shipping is 18, overnight's 23. In the state of California, this is going to get there overnight, 99.9% .9 of the time. So I always select this one unless I'm up a time crunch and I just want to guarantee it, I select this one. But your customers are going to be fine as long as they're in California with the 18 bucks. Confirm the age, 21, for the recipient, click next. Uh, you'll see the card again. This is where you'll Hi. see your shipping, your tax. Say hello, honey. I'm on video. Hi. And uh, you scroll down. Okay, give me, give me two minutes and I'll be done, okay? 
And then this is where you add the credit card information and then submit order. So you just say use a different card and then uh, submit order. Okay, so I hope that helps. Let me know if you need anything else. And right after you submit the order, you'll know it went through because you'll get an automatic uh, email from Boise saying a customer just placed an order on your account. And then all you do to get out of this is you just return to dashboard here. And that gets you back. And if you want to place another customer order, then you just type in new to select, um, to select a new customer again, add new, and you'll start back over at the beginning. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, give me a call. We have an event tonight with my husband's conference. So I may not be available, but I just might if you have some questions. But I hope that that helps you. Oh, documents and training. Click here for resource center, go to training, and down here you'll see website training documents, placing customer orders, and wine club. So you just want to click on that, and then up will come the documents that you can print off or just go back and forth uh, between tabs, and it'll show you how to do everything. I want the, um right here so it'll give you the steps kind of the same thing that i just went through so all right cool let me know if you have any questions bye stop share